What's up, Extreme Full Lifers out there? Mike here with another one from Motley Crue. Kickstart my motherfucking heart. Now, these guys were part of the whole uh, hairband era, um, but they were a little different. They were a little more rock, a little more uh, edgy, and a little more metal than the other ones, such as Poison, Rat, uh, Warrant, Cinderella, and bands like that who really fit that whole hairband niche. Uh, don't get me wrong, they had their uh, they had their high hair and wearing, and they dressed in the clothes, they did everything they were supposed to do. Um, but these guys were a little bit different. Um, so let's take a trip down memory lane, check out the video. Let's go. Okay, time is here. Check out Molly Crew and Kickstart My Heart. See how they did things back in the late 80s, early 90s. Let's go. This is a live video. Oh, look at that thing. It's like Ghostbusters. This is it. Back home, sweet home. Yeah. This is where it all began. Wow, look how young they are. Sam! Ah, Sam. That was a weak one. You're supposed to be like, ah! Badass way to show up to a concert, huh? This guitar, drums coming in. I wonder how these guys feel about having their uh, their life, their passions, their project cars uh, embedded forever in a Motley Crue video that some idiot is talking about on YouTube right now. Bing! Um, that just absolutely getting destroyed on the racetrack. Um, uh, all the blood, sweat, and tears that, and money that went into those uh, builds. <laughs> now that it's, it's ingrained, it's embedded forever into a music video. I don't know how I feel about that. notice when you see all these crashes or people falling out of buildings or just really bad situations you ever wonder to yourself what if you made it Okay, Kickstart My Heart, I believe is his uh, metaphor for adrenaline and a lot of these things going fast and uh, fear and all that will get your blood pumping, adrenaline going and just give you that extra jolt that you need. But what they're doing right here, jumping out of planes and parachutes and flying around in the sky, skydiving, I, I, I'll go and I'll do the car thing. I'll. I'll I'll do a motorcycle thing, maybe the boat thing. You might hit a wave that's weird and fly. Um, but jumping out of a plane, nope. Can't help it. Arms up 
time. Ah, that would chill. Yes, kick some ass with hairspray and mascara. Lots of ass kicking going on here. But you're saying we're still kicking ass? Okay, I think in, what, 2009? I saw their farewell tour. 2009, I saw their fail fa uh. Say it! Say it! Farewell tour, and I think it was at PNC Art Center in New Jersey, and I was like, oh, I definitely got to get in on that. Um, and guess what? They had like 10 farewell tours since then. And also, right before COVID broke out, they I, th I think there was a big issue with them because they had a, a no more tours or farewell, whatever they did last, and then all of a sudden, they're like, Hey, guess what? We're gonna play one more. And then everybody who paid top dollar, this is the last show ever. We're never playing again. We're throwing away our guitars and drum sets and we're never playing again. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, we're gonna play again. So everybody's like, hey, I just paid three, four thousand dollars to take it. And now all of a sudden you're playing another one? What? It's so I don't know. I just it's I think it's just a bad thing. They're not that they didn't invent this whole uh, farewell tour and keep playing. Uh, I think uh, every band kind of does that. Build a hype, build a hype, build a hype, and keep selling shows. Just keep going. We don't need a farewell. Just have a Molly Crew show. People come. That must be pretty cool being uh, in the crowd uh, back, this is probably at the Whiskey or some other bar that they played in back in the day. It's got to be an awesome feeling like, hey, guess what? We're going to be, uh, we're going to be uh, videotaping this one for our, our uh, videos, um, our music video. So why don't we give it a little extra yay and we're going to give it a little extra energy and, and everybody just be on your game and that must be pretty cool. Uh, the, the opposite uh, end of the spectrum for the guys getting in crashes and ruining their cars or maybe even died, who knows. But now we got these guys having... They're partying, and that's now that's that scene for uh, that's embedded in this Motley Crue video for all of eternity. That's cool. I'm sure I feel about the whole uh, talk box thing. A little gimmicky to me, I don't know. Okay, that was Motley Crue, Kickstart My Heart. As you can tell, that song's got energy for days and days and days. No matter when you put it on, you play it back to back, you play it again tomorrow, and every single time you're gonna get fired up. It's part of the whole song, yes. The whole Kickstart My Heart, Adrenaline, it gets you going. It's a very upbeat, uh, uplifting song. Um, and every, if you look at the video, everybody was just there having the time of their life. And they didn't even show all the, the gimmicky things that Motley Crue did, like, uh, 
uh, Tommy Lee coming out uh, in his little cage and getting raised up and doing uh, going around doing a 360 while playing the drums and all this all the other stuff and you know got the the solid uh, Tommy Lee titty cam. Okay, that about does it. So like, subscribe, comment, uh, let me know what you feel, hate, like. Um, tell me about the band. Tell me if you hate the band, you love the band, you miss the hour, you hate the hour, you're glad it's over with. Whatever you want to tell me, let me know.